Hey guys, what's up? It's me Omar in the car again for another vlog on my way home. And uh, just want to do a quick uh, little uh, little chat with you guys. See how you guys are doing today. Um, but there were some things I saw today that kind of uh, piqued my interest a little bit. For those of you, we just posted on uh, Geekster Labs. They just released um, the new trailer for Batman Arkham Knight and it looks awesome. If you guys haven't seen the trailer, it's ridiculous. I think it's like three to four minutes long. It's like, see, it's all CGI, CG like live graphics. So like, it looks like a movie. Like it, the quality of it is really cool. They actually show the, the Batmobile, which from what I understand, you'll actually be able to drive the Batmobile this time in the Arkham game. Uh, this is gonna be the last game in the Arkham series. So after this, they're gonna be, they'll probably do something else. But uh, as far as the Arkham, the, the, that, that game series, this will be the last, this, I believe this is the fourth one. And this will be the end of it, but it looked really cool. So it's just, there was no in-game footage at all. It was just like a, like a little mini movie. And basically from what I gather from it, it looks like it's Scarecrow, Penguin, Two-Face, Harley Quinn are the bad guys that are gonna be in this one. So it looked really awesome. The Batmobile looked really cool. So definitely looking forward to that. I've, I'm a huge fan of Batman. I've been reading Batman comic books, having Batman toys and everything since I was a little, little kid. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm a super big bat geek, if you will. Um, so anyways, that's the first thing. Uh, the other thing I noticed, and uh, I had to post a bunch of comments on the video because it was just too funny, but they have, um, IGN posted the video, that's where I saw it first, but there's actually, if you go to Hover Technology, H-U-V-R Tech, I think it's what it's called, they have a, a video with supposing, with, uh, which is almost like a, sub, a supposed uh, like a commercial, I guess, for the hoverboard, but like the real hoverboard. It has like Christopher Lloyd in it from, uh, you know, uh, from Back to the Future, Doc. Um, and, and he's in there, and they have um, Tony Hawk and Tara Lewins and um, uh, Moby, and there's a couple other people in there. And they're like actually using the, their hoverboard, and they're like, yeah, this is so amazing. I can't believe that, you know, totally fake, totally stupid. People are just going back and forth in the comments like no it could possibly be real this could really be true and like come on come on it shows it's even the funniest part is when it shows a guy i'm not sure who it is but he's kicking on the board he's kicking through the air and the board's going just like in the movie you know how marty mcfly would just kick through the air which doesn't make any sense at all why would that propel the board forward if you're not touching anything you'd have to touch the ground to push yourself forward but <laughs> it was funny and one of the scenes you can actually see like at the tire of the crane that's obviously holding them up and swinging them around in this little parking lot but kind of a funny video if you guys haven't uh, seen it go to uh, go to geeksforlabs.com I posted the, the video on there it's actually kind of funny and uh, like and uh, like I posted on there too people are saying maybe this is like a uh, some kind of uh, viral campaign for um, you know, maybe a Back to the Future reboot or something or maybe it's something from Nike that their Nike's putting out there because uh, Nike's supposedly going to be re-releasing the Nike Mags which is like the Marty McFly uh, self-lacing shoes the the pair that they released before for charity um, they were like trying to raise money um, there was only like a cup, like a handful that they actually released and they sold or auctioned off um, but those just lit up but supposedly in 2015 they're going to come up with a pair that actually light up and have self-powering laces which is pretty cool I can't imagine how much those shoes are going to cost so people are saying maybe this is just their way of kind of creating back to the future buzz over that I don't know maybe Hover Tech is a real company and they're actually going to be selling something else and they're just trying to get people talking about them right now either way it was a really nicely produced video and it was pretty funny so go check that out guys um, I was going to say uh, we posted not too long ago, I think it was yesterday, the uh, a real cool concept that we saw online. Um, we originally, I, I saw it on, um, I think it was Mac Rumors, about it was a, a concept for the iPhone 6C, the colored iPhone. Really interesting stuff. Um, I can't remember the, the guy's name, but the post is on, on, on Geekster Labs. But it was really interesting, for me especially, that you can get a 4.7 inch screen just by removing the side bezels and, and, and increasing, you know, or decreasing the amount of space on the top and the bottom of the phone, so the expanding the screen. Because my big issue is this, guys. I'm, I, I've been using the iPhone. I don't like. I don't, I don't use Android phones, you know, obviously. So I'm not really in the times I have used them or played around with them. I don't enjoy the large size of those phones. I, I just think about sticking them in my back pocket and sitting on it and like cracking that thing because it's so big and and it just feels kind of weird holding your hand. I'm sure it's great to watch videos on it and to do other things on it because, you know, obviously it's a larger screen. But for me, like handling it and, I don't know, just storing it and stuff, it just seems like it's a little big. But I was surprised in that concept how much space he was actually able to get out when you stretch out the screen to the edges. So you keep the same exact form factor, but you get a 4.7 inch screen instead of just a 4. And, you know, that's almost, that's almost an inch increase in size. So um, I was really surprised by that. It was actually pretty cool. But, um, you know, one of the things that... Uh, people are asking or talking about is like what do they expect to have in the next iPhone like what kind of cool things do they, they think that would be, be 
you're coming in it. And my question is like, what do you want to have the next iPhone? Like I know there's all there's always really cool things that they could add to a cell phone to make it a little more user friendly or more interesting. But the thing the thing that Apple's really good about though is 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 putting in features that you didn't even realize you wanted to have on the phone. You know, things that you didn't even think like, oh, this is so great. Like, you know, the fingerprint scanner, eh? It's okay for now. I think once once you're able to actually use your phone as a credit card for security purposes, obviously that's probably where they're headed to. Do they have the whole passbook thing that they came out with a long time ago? Never really took off. And um, you know, we had the NFC, which is on Android devices and things like that, which you could probably, I think, possibly that works in some places where you can use that. Um, and, you know, if they had that programmed the right way to use it as a credit card. But uh, if you know, if, if a company can really implement something new like that, it would be Apple. So I think. The fingerprint scanner is great. I've never used a phone lock, a lock on my phone at all. I'm never using it, so that's never been a big issue for me as far as like wanting to make sure I had a lock on there. But I think having the fingerprint scanner and using that for purchases would be really cool to do if you were actually able to implement some kind of system where the little kiosks at stores you can just swipe your phone and scan it with your thumb, and I could leave all my credit cards at home. That'd be awesome. Um, uh, I was just about to say something else. Um, yeah, so the fingerprint scanner, we'll see how they how they kind of further that along. Supposedly, um, they're going to be releasing iOS 7 very soon because of South by Southwest coming started up next week. And uh, iTunes, the iTunes concert that's going to be happening, they're going to be live streaming that through the app. And I believe that the functionality is not available right now in iOS 6. So the supposedly, supposedly, iOS 7 is going to be dropping very soon. Um, but next to some, some fine, um, minimal updates and features and stuff, I, there's nothing really big that I'm, from what I've read. Uh, that that's going to be available for iOS 7, so I'm not sure if that's a big deal or not. We are going to be making our way to um, South by Southwest this Sunday. We're going to be going to the trade show and uh, the gaming expo as well. So um, we'll see what what they have there to show. It's not really it's supposed. To, it's not like a big tech convention, if you will. There are some cool companies like Audio Technica will be there. We're going to go see them, and um, there's a couple other headphone companies and things like that. So it might be interesting to see. This is actually my first time going to South by Southwest, the trade show at least. I live in San Antonio, which is about an hour away. So I've been to South by Southwest. I used to go to a lot of shows and see a lot of bands back in the day. So I've been to South, South by Southwest for the music part of it, but I've never actually gone for the trade show or for anything else besides the music. So this will be our first time covering it. I figured it's only an hour away, so why not go check it out and see what they have to show us? And I don't know, maybe there's some cool stuff they'll be announcing. Um, and I'm, you know, I, the gaming expo is, is open to the public even as well. So I'm not sure how much stuff they'll have there. It's not, it's not like anything's really exclusive or for the press only or anything like that that I'm aware of that, that, that we're invited to or anything. We're just gonna go make our way down to Austin and uh, to see what we can do, see what we can, who we can talk to, what they'll have to the show, and I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, uh, maybe next year we'll, do, we'll plan a little bit further ahead and and, um, and uh, get invited to some some more things that are a little more um, exclusive. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, anyways, we're gonna be filming, or we're gonna be going there this Sunday. So I'm looking forward to that. Are you gonna go? Am I gonna go? Okay, I'm gonna go. Thank you. Um. <laughs> anyways, um, I was gonna ask you guys a question. I, I want to start ending these videos with a question, so that way, I don't know, there's some kind of discussion between me and you guys, and uh, just I just to get your thoughts on different things. And so the thing I was gonna ask you guys is, what do you want to see added to the next iPhone? Um, you know, like I've mentioned, there's not that many things I can I can really think of that I just wish my iPhone did this. You know, uh, maybe some more functionality with Siri that would be kind of cool. More, that, I mean, allow you to do more things with your voice. But uh, besides that, I mean, I, I just can't think of too many things that I really wish I had on my phone. So, what do you guys wish that it was coming with the next iPhone? And uh, yeah, that's it. So I want to hear what you guys have to say about that. And discuss it amongst yourselves in the comment section okay so anyways guys that's the end of this vlog hopefully you were entertained for i don't know how many minutes this has been filming eight minutes nine minutes or something and uh i'm gonna be having the reviews of this week i've been really busy last week because i had a big company thing that i was doing for my job and uh, it was taking a lot of time but uh, the big event that we were planning and getting ready for is over with so now i have a little more time during the week to be able to film some videos so i'm gonna be doing i'm filming this right now on the uh, the q4 the zoom q4 a uh, little can handheld candy cam I'm going to be reviewing that one next, and uh, I'm also going to be reviewing two lenses that uh, 42nd Street Photo sent me for the Canon, a wide angle and a zoom lens, so I'll be reviewing those next as well, and uh, that should be the next videos coming up soon, okay? So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.